The Daily Reminder Network presents Dua Revival Season 2 Assalamu alaikum One time while I was traveling on an airplane during Ramadan I saw a man who was extremely drunk He was acting foolishly and many people were expressing how disturbed they felt from his behavior and we were told that he was wasted, i.e. drunk. He even started yelling at the pilot to, go, to quickly leave the gate. He's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. May Allah protect us. Once we actually had took off and we are in the air, he left his seat and he started walking. And out of everybody on the airplane, he came to me and he placed his hand firmly on my left shoulder. And he said, how are you Habibi? At this point, I was really confused. And I said, I'm doing good, Alhamdulillah. Then I turned around to see if there's a flight attendant who was going to come and repress him away from me. But then the man came closer and his breath was reeking of the smell of alcohol. May Allah protect us. And he said to me the following, I'm a Muslim brother. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu an muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. And at this point, I became really shocked and sad. I know many of you would want me to continue the story. But brothers and sisters, please pay attention and note. You need to realize that many times throughout your lives, you will come by people and by stories who have been afflicted. And these afflictions, pay attention, can be for example in one's health, such as someone being blind. May Allah cure our brothers and sisters who are blind. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. And that affliction can also be in one's religion. And that's worse. May Allah protect us. Now, when such thing happened, how was your behavior? It's not a question, it's not about how they behaved and so on. Now, what's your reaction to their behavior? Will you be arrogant? Will you make fun of them? How and what will you say? Now listen to this hadith which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said. This hadith can be found in a Tirmidhi and was classified as Hassan, as authentic by Al-Albani. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, don't forget to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man ra'a sahib bala'in, whoever sees a person who has been afflicted, faqal, and then says, and then says what? Alhamdulillah, all praises due to Allah. Alladhi, the one who, the one who did what? The one who did the following two things, pay attention. Alhamdulillah alladhi aafani mimma abtalaka bih The one who saved me from that which he has afflicted you with wa faddalani ala kathirin mimman khalaqa tafdila And the one who has blessed me greatly over many of those whom he has created Whoever says these two statements brothers and sisters The Prophet says illa ufiya min thalika albala kainan ma kana ma'ash Allahu Akbar Whoever says that dua upon seeing an afflicted person then he or she shall be saved from that affliction for as long as he or she lives, Allahu Akbar, meaning he or she will not experience going through it the same way that other person you saw is experiencing it. So brothers and sisters, instead of making fun of the person or for example, acting arrogantly towards them, rather stay humble, be grateful that you're not in their place and say the dua, Alhamdulillah alladhi aafani mimma abtalaka bihi wa faddalani ala kathirin mimman khalaqa tafdila. الحمد لله الذي عافاني مما ابتلاك به وفدلاني على قطير ممن خلق تفضيل May Allah bless you and protect you brothers and sisters. Please be sure to share this video. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.